Hi, I'm Lisa Squire, Senior Communications Advisor with Alberta Health Services, and this is Health Matters. Joining me today is Randy Youngman, and Randy is a Regional Traffic Safety Consultant with the Alberta Office of Traffic Safety, and today we're going to be talking about motorcycle safety. So thank you for being here, Randy. Well, thanks for having me. I know weather is finally getting nicer, and it might have seemed long for people who like to ride their bike uh, to get back out there on the roads, and now that they're able to do that, what are some things that they should be thinking about? Uh, this past winter was brutal. So one of the big things that bikers have to remember right off the bat is that they've gotten rusty over the winter. You know, they've taken care of their bike, they've polished everything up, lubed everything up, all ready to go, but their skills need to be honed. So you can't go out there right off the bat in the spring thinking that you're as good a rider as you were last fall. You've got to work back into it. And then there's so many different environmental factors. With the winter we had, they've dumped a lot of gravel on the roads. It's been brutal to the surface of the road. There's potholes and cracks and everything. And all of those things can affect the biker greatly. And how important is helmet safety? <laughs> helmet safety is the number one thing. Most important organ in your body is your brain. And uh, one of the weakest bones in your body is your skull. So you got to add something for protection. And protection can be a simple as a, uh, a half helmet, such as this one, you want to make sure that it's an approved helmet. Some, there's what's called a novelty helmet, and they're just little thin things, and they're not approved, and they can result in a fine as well. And then you can move up, oh, you can move right up to a, a full face helmet for even more protection. And uh, the big thing to remember is that to look for the certification when you're buying a helmet, and as helmet prices go up, the safety factor doesn't necessarily go up, but features and paint jobs on them and, and that sort of thing may, may differ. What are some other examples of personal protection that motorcyclists should be thinking about? Well, there's a few other, once we get away from the helmet, there's a couple other things that are extremely important. Leather is a staple of, of bikers. Everybody always wonders why bikers wear black leather. Well. Leather, number one, so if something does go wrong and you fall, it's not your skin, it's the cow skin that's getting worn. And black, just very simply, it hides the dirt. <laughs> uh, boots, very important. Gloves, you can go anywhere from a half glove to have your fingers out on a hot day to a, a full glove when it's warm and, or cold and you need the warmth. Because usually if you fall, the first thing you do is reach out with your hands. And so they're going to be making some of the first contact with the pavement. And where can people go for more information about bicycle safety? Well, they can contact me if they'd like at 403-458-1890. Uh, yeah, any, any day of the week. And, uh, or call your local police service or RCMP station and they'll be glad to help you out. Great. Thank you so much, Randy. And uh, thanks to all of you for watching. Those are some great tips. Uh, for those of you who, who love to be out there and riding, um, have fun and stay safe. I'm Lisa Squires, and this is Health Matters.